back at Tiger Field, Colt 45's baseball. We're joined now by Andy Bayena, who has uh, played in every Colt 45's game this summer. But you're not in the lineup tonight, so you get a little bit of a break, and it is that time of year, and you, you take a break after your first three-hit game of the summer. That was a good feeling last night for the whole club, wasn't it? Definitely. I think uh, yesterday was the most hits we've had in a game all year, so definitely guys starting to get in the groove and you know starting to see the ball well, so it was good. Now, well, for you, I mean, I don't know if you've even been to this part uh, of Northern California at all before coming up here. And for any of you guys, it's it's an adjustment getting here. You're you're go going from the artificial bat uh, to the wood bat and seeing live pitching. It's different than the cage. There's an adjustment. Uh, how's that adjustment for you? And obviously, the last uh, three four weeks, you've you've looked like you're feeling good. Definitely. Uh, you know, it took a, bit, a little bit. You know, I started off a little bit slower than I would like to, but. Uh, Definitely starting to feel feel my swing a little bit more, working a lot. You know, Plum has been great for us, giving us a bunch of reps and stuff. So just been feeling a lot more comfortable and feeling a lot more confident in the box, and it's, I feel like it's starting to show in my game. And for you, you've also you've got the challenge of playing other positions. Tyler, you started in center. That would be a more natural position for you, but you're getting some reps in right field. All of this helps you when you go back in the fall at Regis University, right? Most definitely, uh, you know, the more versatile I become, the you know, the more I'll be able to compete and the more I'll be able to find some time on the field. So, it's been a little bit of an adjustment, you know, learning right field. But I'm, uh, I think I'm starting to make a good adjustment and starting to feel pretty comfortable out there. Well, you can always uh, pick the brain of Rick Bassetti too. Play the outfield in the big leagues. You mentioned uh, Plum, Bill Plummer, the, the former Big Red Machine catcher, and, and not to pick on you guys because you're so young, but really. That's my era of players. Did you know much about Plummer and or Bassetti uh, before you came here? I'm sure you've learned a lot since. You've heard some good stories. Definitely have heard some good stories. Uh, when I was looking at summer ball teams, uh, my coaches recommended the Colt 45s for that exact reason. Uh, you know, Bo has been a great teacher of the outfield to me and you know, just to be able to take my game to the next level, learning from a guy who uh, led the AL in assists, led the AL in putouts. You know, during his time, was it's definitely uh, will help me take my games to the next level. What do you need to improve on this summer? I mean, you, you everybody sets goals, but baseball season never really stops anymore. You know, so what are you trying to accomplish without putting too much pressure on yourself? Um, I feel like I'm a confident guy, so uh, you know, I just try and carry that over into the field. Now, the more confident I am in my abilities, you know, I feel I'm pretty naturally talented. The more confident I am in my abilities, the more. You know, reps I get in game, I feel like that will carry over in itself, just working on the mental aspect of the game and working on, uh, you know, feeling like myself more out there. Now you're from Colorado, right? I mean, that's where you went to high school. Uh, a lot of people here, myself included, not familiar with Regis University. Tell me a little bit about Regis, uh, why you wound up there. Miguel Marquez also there. Miggy, unfortunately, having an injury and is probably going to be going home soon. But, you know, tell me a little bit about Regis. Regis is a Division II school in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, being close to my family, it was a great opportunity to go there. And unfortunately, the coach that recruited me just took another job. But I'm um, looking forward to building with the guys. You know, I've made a lot of great friendships out there. And you know, in a smaller school, you get really close with um, you know, the guys you spend a lot of time with. So uh, you know, it's a it's a nice little spot. It's about 10 minutes north of downtown. So um, you know, we we keep ourselves busy. Um, but it's definitely a good time, and I'm looking forward to getting better out here and taking what I learned and really competing and getting after it this fall. I'm guessing you then grew up a Rockies fan, huh? Yes, I am a Rockies fan. A little, you know, the Dodgers look like they're running away with the division, but you never can count them out. The Rockies have a lot of fight. Uh, um, before I let you go, what has this experience been like for you this summer? Because, hey, you guys... <laughs> You guys are from everywhere. You got Utah, you got uh, Northern California, you got uh, Texas. Uh, what has the experience been like? And I sense that you're you're gelling as a team now. Most I, I, up, up, up front with you know guys coming from all over, it might be a little awkward. You might just you know stay with the one or two guys you know who came here out front. But definitely, as we spend more time together and you know personalities start to show, we're st we're starting to become a little bit closer. And you can see that on the field too. I feel like we're just about to start hitting our stride and really start you know putting teams away and playing the game that we all know how to so uh, it's it's good it's exciting it's you know the more time you spend out here the more fun you have so I'm really looking forward to the rest of the summer. And Bayana, thank you for taking the time to join me I know you you may still get in the game you're not in the starting lineup but you got to prepare just like uh, just like you're gonna get called on in there as uh, you guys try to take the rubber match in a three game set with the Fresno A's. Thanks Andy we'll be back with the lineups and more you're listening to Reading Colt 45's baseball. <laughs>